I got a story here from BindingTheComics.com. Leaker spills all he knows about Godzilla X calling a new empire, including the return of a fan favorite monster. I'll link this in the description box if you can read it for yourself because I'm just going to kind of gloss over uh, at least a fair portion of this. Basically, X account Divinity Seeker presented all they supposedly know about Godzilla X Kong a short while back, and their inside knowledge focuses on the hierarchy of the characters in the story. Here's their tweet Dan Stevens is our new lead. His character name is Trapper. He's friendly with Kong, and he kills it in this role. Main villain is the first ever Titan and is an ice type Titan. He calls the Ice Age. Mothra returns. Then they talk about the spoiler or whatever you want to call it about Mothra being there. The account's clearly referring to the creature that was already identified as Shimo, an ancient common ancestor to the Titans that might fall under the authoritarian, authoritarian control of the Scar King, who was the first new Titan we were introduced to in the initial teaser for Godzilla X Kong that dropped early on in 2023. And they talk about the surprise of Mothra returning. And as we saw the queen of the monsters, she had returned to her larval stage after dying by gravity beam, but not before bestowing her essence on Godzilla at the climax of King of the Monsters. She could emerge from her latest cocoon and lend a hand, or maybe a wing, when Kong and Godzilla battle for Earth, or perhaps she appears in another news clip. This would be a shameful waste of her first appearance in years on either side of the Pacific, if that were to happen. Then they have another tweet. There is an epic zero-gravity fight scene at the end of the movie due to the ancestor's power. Godzilla's role is fairly minor, again, but is lore essential to the story. He defeated the first Titan eons ago, and it's Kong who tries to set everyone in motion. Very campy. And, you know, so far, that, that stuff sounds okay. I mean, not ideal. I don't think I'd like to see a little more Godzilla, but okay. Anyway, the article continues. The silver lining is Mothra and her devotees shouldn't sweat the scale of her reemergence too terribly since she isn't the star of the show. That designation goes to her symbiotic partner, Godzilla, but unfortunately there is glum news in his case. The king might suffer a worse afterthought level of treatment than Mothra. Divinity Seeker's intel conveys his role will be minor again, while Kong sets things in motion once more. Seeker adds, however, a wish of viewers of Godzilla vs. Kong had once they bore witness to the climate and physics of the Hollow Earth shall be granted. The monster fight will take place in zero gravity, which will take our minds off the prospect of West Coast Europe. Long live the king, maybe not so much. That's basically the entire article. Like I said, I'll link it in the description box if you can read it for yourself. But I, like, I'm not a huge Godzilla fan. Like, I mean, I, I, mean, I am, but I, I prefer, you know, Kong. So the idea of, you know, Kong being the leader or, or the star or whatever, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I do think, though, that Godzilla should play a bigger role, and it would be disappointing if this turns out to be the case. I mean, I would certainly hope not, but I don't have any reason to distrust Divinity. You know, I, I don't really have a reason to trust them yet, but we'll see what happens. To be determined, as they say, I'm not really sure. Me, personally, the movie sounds pretty cool. Like, I don't mind the very campy stuff. As long as it's not like too campy, as long as it's not too stupid, it's a fine line to cross, you know, fine line to walk, I should say. You could easily cross it over into being just cheesy as hell. But you know, I've, I've liked the movie so far, so I'm willing to, I'm willing to just give them the benefit of the doubt for now. We'll see what happens. You know, let me know if you agree or disagree or whatever. You know, hey, let's, you know, every, it's all cool. Everything's, everyone has in, entitled to their own opinion and stuff. I mean, you know, but anyway, like I said, I'll link this in the description box. You can read it for yourself. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.